Alright, we're back, and we're gonna finish the museum. I did not know it was gonna take this long. Ugh. Oh, it's another tartar! You know what? <laughs> yeah! I hope that hurt. Hey, look, that's another episode of SpongeBob. Barbecues and peacock pie. Oh, why? And watch out for this steering wheel because it sinks after a while. Yeah. And run, jump, run, jump, run, jump. Oh, damn it. Now you're chuck. Damn it. This kid. What are you doing in the museum? It's filled with damn robots, stupid kid. And here's what I was talking about. There's that damn monsoon. I'm gonna kick his ass. Get some monsoon. <laughs> Alright, this one sinks too, but the rest of them don't, so. Alright, you gotta be very patient on these wheels, because if you make the wrong move, it's death. Because you have to redo the whole thing. Alright, crap, damn it. Alright, if you, like. Right, if you like bubble bowl this entire area, it'll give you a super ultra mega monster combo. Crap, damn it. You know what? You know what? Screw you, screw you, screw you, and ah! Damn it. I've always gotten a super ultra mega monster combo. Hey. Two of them got away! Yeah, take you into custody. That's what you get. What is he doing? Get hey, over here, you damn tire. Crap, is another monsoon. And your monsoon, no one loves you. Your own family doesn't love you. Be very patient on these wheels. Very patient. There we go. And now we're going to have to come back into the museum as Sandy. Crap, almost died. Because we have to uh, get the two socks. Look at her, just looking at a pie. What are you doing? Look at that, it says Spongebob. I don't know what else it says, it's all scribbly, but it does say Spongebob. It's pretty funny. And this one also says Spongebob. It's weird. Alright, here's another artwork. And look, now Texas things come down for Sandy. Welcome. Alright, now we have to go get Sandy. Run! Run! Oh, if you remember this guy. Anybody remember this guy? That's the guy who saved SpongeBob. And when he went to rock bottom, that's the guy who spoke to him in plain English and said, You're welcome! Because <laughs> he blew up the guy's balloon. That's the guy right there. I know, it's pretty cool, all the references in this game. It's so awesome. Eh. Damn it! Ugh! Ugh! Damn it! It's too high. Look at this. Even that one's too high. Get up there. Let's go talk well, to him. Well, what do you know? You pulled it off. Congratulations, kid. Now, if I could only find my dentist. Wow. You lost him? You suck at life. Don't lose your dentures in a museum. It's a big place. It's actually a pretty small museum, if you ask me. I've seen some pretty big museums. That's a pretty small museum. Alright, we have to switch back into Sandy. Alright, you're getting on my nerves, you stupid Chuck. Chuck is the most annoying robot on the face of planet Earth. Oh, oh, oh. Back into the chamber. I'm going to show you where those last two socks are. 
And then I think this rock bottom is going to be another three parts because there's so much to do. I think this is going to be like the longest part. I mean, the longest like area. There's so much to do. I'm already at like part four or something. I don't even know. Now, if you get in this teleport box, it's much easier than having to redo everything. And then, I believe, you go, where do you go? Up to the tires. Up we go. And a one, and a two, and a skiddly diddly do. <laughs> uh, it reminds me of Band Geeks. That's probably my top five favorite episodes of Spongebob, Band Geeks. I love it. Squidward was teaching all those people how to play the thing, and he's like, I have a theory. People are, speak loudly when they want to be heard. And then Plankton's like, correct! So I was thinking, maybe if we play loud, people will think we're good. And so he's like, a one, a two, a one, two, three, four, and then they blow out the entire, like all the windows and the whole place, and he's like, okay, new theory. Maybe we should play so quietly, no one can hear us. <laughs> and then the guy's like, Maybe we wouldn't play so bad if somebody didn't play with big, meaty claws. What did you say? Big, meaty claws. Well, these claws ain't just for attracting mates. Bring it on, old man. Bring it on. <laughs> you can tell it's in my top five because I know so many of the lines. Alright, here is the Trench of Advanced Darkness. Now, I guess here's where we'll stop. Uh, yeah, we'll stop it here. Watch the next part. We'll do the Trench of Advanced Darkness, which might be two parts, might be three parts. I, I don't know. Depends.